So in this video, this Fearless uh, Fundamentals video, I want to talk about giving versus taking. I've got a lot of requests for this video. Um, odd, it's an odd video to get requests for because I talk about it all the time and I demo it all the time. I've de demoed on the Tuesday calls, and but I'm going to do a specific video on it. Um, what is giving? What is taking? And why does taking not work? And why, does, why is all growth success in life about being giving and how does giving work uh, literally versus and and we're going to talk about it and we'll talk about how it works literally if you're a nice guy you got the nice guy syndrome i used to have a really bad nice guy syndrome a lot of codependency i was a very um what i would consider giving guy because i was out there trying to take care of everybody but that's not really giving um and at least from the nice guy perspective. I was out there, whenever anybody got upset, I wanted to help them. If they needed to move, I'd help them move. If uh, they were sad, I would go over and be there and listen. I'd, be, I'd let girls cry on my shoulders. But what would end up happening is the girls would never get attracted to me. They would love me because I would take care of them, but then they go basically fuck another guy. And then they want to tell me about their problems with this guy. And then I would give more, thinking eventually they're gonna like me. I'd take them out to dinner where they wanted to go. I'd spend a lot of money on them thinking that they would eventually like me and all that happened was i would build resentment anger and frustration and eventually i'd want to get away from the women i'd want to push them away and i'd be angry at them and they didn't they realize how much i did for them how much i went out of my way to be there for them how could they not like me for who i am and sometimes i blow up at them and i get so mad because they were just so selfish right but the truth was was that i was selfish I mean, and, and maybe in some cases they were selfish too, or maybe they were just being themselves and responding to who I was. It doesn't really matter. What matters is who I was being in response to that. And how was I selfish in those energies? Well, I was selfish because I was only doing those things because I wanted something from her and I never told her what it was. I never said, hey, I wanna have sex with you. I wanna date you. Or I said, it's okay if I did say that and I worked up the courage, which terrified me because there's a lot of tension in that, saying that to a girl I liked. And I did say that to a girl, what would she, what would she do? She would say, no, I just wanna be friends. And I'd be like, it's okay, we can be friends. And I'd run around pretending to be her friend when secretly I wanted her to fall for me. So under this, I had a covert contract. I had this covert kind of hidden agendas I was always working. So I'd give something to her, buy her a lunch, and then secretly I'm resenting her because she's gonna go fuck another guy later. She's gonna go on a date with another guy later. And then she's gonna wanna tell me about it. Maybe she'll tell it to me over lunch. And, uh, and so deep down inside, what I was actually doing was building resentment, anger, frustration. And that's not giving, is it? That's giving with a covert contract. Now, what I do different today is I, if I buy a girl a dinner, I don't expect anything in return. It doesn't mean I, I can want it. I can choose it. I can be really direct with her about it. This is what I, this is, you know, I'm going to take you out to dinner. I really like you. There's something sexy about you. And I want to get to know you better. And I'm showing her direct interest that I'm interested in her sexually. And I want to take you to dinner to get to know you. She can either turn me down or not. And I'm still not going to be upset if she, at the end of the date, she doesn't like me because that's her prerogative, right? But I'm gonna make that decision at the end of the date and I'll go from there. And if I feel like she's just using me or manipulating, I'll end it right away. And that's, that's the amazing part is now I'm comfortable saying no. I'm comfortable setting boundaries. I'm comfortable uh, saying exactly what I want. That's what the nice guy won't do because he's terrified of rejection. But I, I'll do it now and I'll put it right up front so she knows what the deal is and she can make her choice from there whether she wants to move forward. And that's the difference. That's giving, being honest, being real. So many people think giving is being super nice to everybody, you know, giving them hugs all the time, giving them exactly what they want. Oh, it's okay. We'll take care of you. You'll, you'll be fine. You know what? You don't have any money to, to eat and you don't want to get a job. Well, we'll just keep giving you money until one day you decide you want to get a job. Well, why would he, that person ever want to get a job? You know, you know what? You keep taking me to lunch as a woman and you keep buying me sushi and nice food and I keep unloading all my problems on you. Why the, why stop? You know what? Yeah, I know he likes me, but he also likes being my friend, so it's okay. And then they'll just keep going from there. If I go back in my history, I, I remember this one girl in high school and uh, I would love to see her again, actually. Uh, and she was my best friend, actually. She was fucking awesome. I loved her death. And we used to hang out all the time. We had a good time together. 
and I was a super, super nice guy, and I would not make a move. And she would do things like tell me, uh, tell me about her boyfriends, the guys she was dating, and we would hang out all day, and I would just be waiting, not making any move at all, thinking that eventually we get along so well, we talk so much, she's gonna get attracted to me. But I wasn't creating any tension. So I was, I was killing all the tension, which creates attraction, and I was just waiting hoping that one day she would see me for who I am, slowly building more and more resentment towards her and not being really honest about my true intentions with her. And that, again, is not giving. So eventually I had to end it with this girl. I ended it, I cut her off. And she did try to chase me and get me back into her life. She didn't say anything about dating because she missed me so much because she really did care about me. But I ended it because I was in so much pain over seeing her date so many guys in front of me. And that really woke me up. It really changed me a lot. I, I looked at that and I said, what did I do wrong? And as I look back today, I can see that she even wanted me to step into tension a few times. And she was almost inviting me to because she did on a, on a deeper level like me, but I would never take the step. So there was a bigger part of me even rejecting her when she would invite me into it, which could have led to something else. Again, not being giving as a man. So I, wanna, I want you to take this in. The giving is a powerful energy, but it's about authenticity. It's about realness. It's about being radically honest. And that is the biggest part that you're missing. It's about stepping into tension. That's why we talk about stepping into tension. If you're afraid of tension and the vulnerability inside the tension, you're never going to be able to be giving. I need to be able to say to a girl, I like you, there's something about you and drop into my body, feel my turn on, and let her see me do it and not hide it. I need to be able to say to, to a girl, you know what, sex is awesome, I love sex. And you know what, I really want a, a woman that loves sex too, where we can really be intimate together and have a, a really strong sexual bond as well as a heart-based bond, because that's true, that's what I want. I need, to be, I need to never apologize for liking sex. If she challenges me, well, you're really forward. Yes, I am, and that's who I am. That's giving. When she says, um, you know, I, I think, uh, uh, I think, uh, you're a little forward cause maybe I tried to lean in and kiss her on the first date. I start feel it. I feel the tension and I just start stepping into the tension to lean in and kiss her. What I'm doing is showing her who I am as a man. This is where the direction I'm going. I'm moving this relationship in this direction. She might reject it cause it's too fast for her in that moment. She might turn away. No, no, that's a bit forward. I don't kiss on the first date or whatever she says. And I'll be like, okay, I ground that out. But now she knows. I've given her the gift. She might even blush. She might even reject, say, I don't kiss on the first date. I, I'm really slow moving. But then you'll also see a part of her, if you don't get reactive, that likes it, likes the tension you stepped into. Or maybe she doesn't. If she doesn't, she's definitely not the girl for me. Because, and that's pretty rare when she doesn't. You know, they, What I find is most women like it when a grounded guy moves forward, even if they tell him no, and then he back. And then they really like it when you back off and you don't have to get reactive to it. You're like, okay, she's not ready yet you know what, I'm gonna be present until she is, but she knows who I am, she knows what I want, she knows what I'm about. I also want to be able to set boundaries, you know? I don't like it when women do this. I don't like it when women do that. And this is what I want in a woman, you know? And I don't apologize for it. And this is what I want for myself, and I don't apologize for it. I have rules for myself. And if we start to connect on that, those levels, that's where giving happens. So let's look at this another way. Let's look at it from an embodiment perspective. What is giving? If I start to want, that's going to create resentment, right? If I have a want that's unresolved and I keep wanting from her, I want sex, I want sex, I want sex, and she doesn't give it to me, I'm going to start to create resentment and because I have an attachment to that want. So what does that look like? Well, if I'm with the girl and I'm out on a date and I start leaning into the front of my body a lot, like from feeling here, pulling out of my back and I start leaning in and I'm like, hey, so, um, you know, uh, and this is where I'm going into the wanting, you know, you're really cute, I, I really like you. We should definitely hang out sometime. Um, or I'm on a date and I'm like, you know what? And I start leaning in towards that kiss and that energy's leading in front of me, you know, and that could be too much for her. And that's what a lot of guys do. If I lock out of my lower body, I'm gonna try to do this. And I go clear up into my head, here we go, lock into the head. Or maybe I come forward. A lot of you guys are forward in here. And then I'm like, so, um, hi, where are you from? You know, you're really cute. I, 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 uh, I would love to hang out with you. Oh, you, you just want to be friends? That's okay. Now I'm lying, right? Or I start to lean in for the kiss and there's a want in it. My eyes get big. Hi, um, 
and then she pulls away and then I get upset. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. You know, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Um, you know, maybe I was a bit forward. Now I'm apologizing for being, these are all lies you're telling and they're not giving, they're taking. I'm just going to keep trying to mitigate that tension and control it until she realizes one day what a great guy I am. But she's never going to realize that because you don't have the core fundamental principle of being attractive. Now, the opposite of that is I lean in for, I drop into my back, I open my heart. We talked about that in last week's Sunday's video about uh, being more vulnerable with the heart. And I start to lean in for the kiss. And I did this once, right in the middle of 10, uh, must have been a half hour into a date. I just wanted to pick the most awkward moment. I started leaning in really slowly, amping up the tension, enjoying her a little bit at a time. And then I get about an inch from her and she freezes up. This literally happened. She froze up and got tense, but she didn't pull away. And I didn't move back. I stayed that one inch from her. I said something to her. I might've said, I said something like, you okay? Or something like that. And she goes, but I was sitting there and she goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm kissing you. She goes, okay. And then I leaned in and kissed her and then came back. And then she goes, sighs and she goes, oh, did I ruin that? I said, no, you made it better. See, I amped up the tension. I played with it. I stayed grounded. I paused when she tensed up really bad, gave her some space to take it in, didn't keep pushing. And then I moved in even more. So that's what made it work. That's what made it so powerful. Now, think about the opposite of that. The old me would have leaned in. Let's say I had the balls to even start that. And I start to build the tension, build the tension, build the tension. And I'm doing this I'm, and I'm tensing up inside because I'm a nice guy because I'm terrified of getting rejected. And, but I'm going for it. That's, that's the plus. And then she goes, what are, you, uh, what are you doing? And she goes, and then turns away. And then I'm like, no, no, it's okay. I, you know, I probably shouldn't have done that. You know, it's, it, it's all right. Now I'm lying to her. I'm not being real with her about what I feel. What would have been a proper response if she turned away from me in that case? So I lean in and if she got tense, said, no, no, it's a little fast for me. I could have backed up and said, well, you can't blame me for trying. You know, you're beautiful. There's just something about you. And I could have opened my heart, looked down at her lips, backed up a little bit. And that way she knows my intent. I didn't apologize for what I just did. I stepped into it. I flowed with it. And, I re and then I relaxed. And that way she knows who I am. She knows where I'm coming from. She knows I'm honest. She knows the type of guy I am. And that, that tension allows her to enjoy my masculinity. Even if it's a no right now, she might move forward later. She might step into it later. Okay? And, and that ability to be in that tension is so giving. Giving is about honesty. Giving is about realness. Giving is about being honest about your vulnerability. You know what? You scare me, but you're so damn sexy. I can't help it. I'm, I'm nervous, but I, I gotta come talk to you. That's sexy. You know, um, hi, um, you, you know, I'm a little scared, nervous, but now I'm, I'm asking, I'm kind of half in, half out. I'm not stepping into the tension. I'm apologizing, asking her to calm me down. And, and I'll give you one more example before I end this video. Two more examples, actually. One is a, of a, a guy I watched in New York. He walked over these two Asian girls and he, they were super cute, super sexy, giggling, had been drinking, and he was terrified. And we could see them come, him coming from a mile away. He was half in and half out. And as he got closer and closer to the table, he's like, uh, ladies, he's leaning back a little bit. Do you mind if, um, I just want to say hi. You know, I didn't want to bother you too, you know, but you know, I just, I think you're beautiful and you don't mind. And, you know, I'd love to, you know, just, and then they giggle, they laugh, they said some more stuff. And then he goes, well, you know, if you'd like to join us, maybe hang out a little bit. No, 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 we're, we're fine. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. And again, he's not being honest with her about who he, what he's, who he's being. He's not owning it. In a sense, he's being honest that he's scared. He's kind of, but if you ask him, he's going to be like, no, I'm not scared. I'm good. I'm good. Right? So he's not truly being honest about being scared and he's not owning it. Now, another friend of mine approached this girl in Target and I remember watching it and I was like, this is going to be interesting. And he, he walks over to her and she's really hot. She's on her cell phone texting and he goes, uh, he goes, uh, hi, um, I just had to say hi to you. There's, you know, there's something about you and he looks up and he's a little timid, a little pulled back and he's kind of a little apologizing for being. And she's like, Oh, okay. Well, thank you. And she keeps texting. And then he catches himself because he's good with women. And he opens up in the chest, opens up in the throat, gives of his full energy, his full beingness, his back. And he goes, he goes, look at you. And she goes, what? And he goes, look, my lip is shaking. And it was. 
And he goes, you make me so nervous, but you're so beautiful. I just had to come say hi to you. He switched in the moment and fixed it and got real and authentic about who he was, called himself out in front of her, and she immediately did what? She took that cell phone and went, oh, really? Click, put it in her purse, connected right in with him. And he was still shaking for a bit, but as he relaxed and started to own that vulnerability, she started to lean in a little bit more. He got her phone number and then it went from there. He totally turned that around in the moment by getting real, honest, and authentic with her and owning his fear, not running from it. And that's the giving energy. So remember, basics on the energetic part is leaning in and locking out of your body and trying to manipulate your emotions is taking. Cutting, getting rid of the tension and avoiding the tension because you're scared of getting rejected is taking. Uh, not telling a girl how you really feel because you don't want to get rejected is taking. Not setting boundaries when you have boundaries or ha is taking. Because all you're going to do under the surface is build resentment, frustration, and anger. And it's just going to build up and build up in your body. And, then, and that every time you're building up those heavy emotions and denying that they're there, you're taking more and more and more. And with time, you can start to learn to be real and honest, step into the tension, own your vulnerability, and be an authentic, radically honest, real man. And that's what I want for every one of my clients, every one of you out there on YouTube. So with that said, I hopefully you like this video. Uh, make sure to like it if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe and uh, make sure to comment. I really wanna hear your comments and uh, they help us to really move the channel forward. And also make sure to share. Anybody that needs this, share with them uh, because it really helps to grow the channel, but it also helps them and their lives. And, uh, and that's also part of being radically honest, letting your friends know that you're into this stuff, man. So many guys wanna hide it, women don't. So get out there and put it out there, let the world know. I, I don't apologize for being, I don't apologize for what I like. With that said, remember, only the confident really live. Take care.